everyone, this is Rebecca from Chemnitz and today I'm going to show you the magic circle technique to start off some circular crochet. And today we are going to do this magic circle with double crochet stitches. Um, the circle in this example has 10 stitches. We are going to start this magic circle with a length of, length of yarn and in an identical fashion to what we did with the single crochet um, magic circle that I showed before. You're going to create a loop by just crossing the yarn over with the tail of the yarn pointing down and behind the working yarn. And I take this and twist it just a little bit so it's in a comfortable position. And now you're going to be treating this loop like it's one big stitch. And so I am going to, um, I guess, start my stitch and I'm going to chain two stitches so this will be tall enough for a double crochet. Um, and now again I'm going to be treating this as like a big stitch in between both of these strands, the tail and that of the loop, I am going to start making um, some double crochet stitches. There's one one stitch. This is the second DC, so you can see we've completed two stitches, and you can see them here on this ring. So again, you know, when I'm starting, I'm when you would normally be picking up um, a loop through a stitch, you're treating this whole big loop like it's one stitch. And I personally like the magic circle technique because you know, I think that creating a gazillion um, single or double crochets into one stitch when you're starting with just a chain, um, I personally find that fairly difficult. And so, you know, when you have this really big loop right here, um, it's really easy to uh, pick up the stitches through it. And so this technique is really great for when you want to start with any kind of circular project. Okay, two, three. So I've done six stitches so far and um, you continue going until you've done as many stitches as you need. And once you've completed ten double crochets you will get a piece that looks like this. And to close the ring I start off by un um, bringing out this tail I untwist it if it's twisted just because it makes it easier to pull closed. And then by pulling it, and okay, hopefully you won't break the yarn. Um, <laughs> thankfully, that isn't a huge deal in this case, but by pulling it closed, you can see that we tightened and we have what is almost a complete circle. And now we can finish this off by with just a simple slip stitch into the first stitch and now we have a nice complete circle. So there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a magic circle with double crochet. Um, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and I hope um, that you have a happy crocheting day.